off a jet to a check when I land. My big two foreign in the beast. I don't need her. Pull a drop top with an eater. Two seater. New bitch wanna fuck my AP. New freezer. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Trish. If you guys are new, thanks for stopping by and do not forget to hit that subscribe button. If not, welcome back to my channel. Also, 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 make sure y'all are hitting that bell so y'all can know when I'm uploading videos. So, yeah, I've been really inspired by these sunset looks everybody's doing on Instagram. And I just wanted to do my own twist, my own take on it. And I just went in with like a regular, like, orange shade. Well, not a regular orange shade. It's like a nice, pretty, um, like, orange shade. And, like, I used a lot of reds. And I also paired this with a bold blue, a bold red lip and some blue in my waterline and i really like the way this look came out it's really like beautiful i really like the way it came out and i hope you guys like it as well everything i use will be listed down in the description box do not forget to like comment and i subscribe so the first palette i'm starting off with is my 135 c palette and i'm using this light brown shade as my transition Now I'm taking this coral orange shade and I'm also putting that down as my transition to transition it as well so that that area can be really warm. And now I'm taking these two red shades in this palette and I'm going to be putting that in my crease to get that, you know, that defined red look in my outer V area. And now I'm taking this burgundy from the same palette and I'm going to be putting that in my outer V as well to give the outer V some definition. Now I'm going to my Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette and I'm taking this shade called Jezebel. It's a deep burgundy shade and I'm also putting that in my outer V to further intensify it. And I'm going to the Nubian 1 palette and I'm taking this rose gold shade and I'm using it as my brow bone highlight. And now I'm cutting my crease with my Elegirl Pole Concealer in the shade Porcelain. And I did speed through this part because y'all always see me cut my crease. So I did like I went ahead and sped through this part a little bit. Now I'm taking this Mayo makeup pigment. It's like a pretty rose gold orange shade and you know I just had to do this I just had to use it and it's so like shimmery so metallic and that's what the shades I love so I went with this shade and now y'all gonna see me going back in and blending taking my red shades and like the shades that I use and like creating um, making it into a half moon type half crease type look because I wasn't really feeling that cut crease that I did so I turned it into a half cut crease and I just thought that the half cut crease went better with the look. And now I'm taking my NYX glitter primer and my J Cats glitter. This glitter is so pretty y'all. It's an orange glitter but it has like different like it has specks of like yellow and red in it. It's so freaking pretty and I just thought it just went perfect with the eyeshadow that I used. And I'm just taking some more of that red and then I'm just using it to um, make sure that everything is blended out seamlessly. Now moving on to my face, I did my lashes and applied my liner offline, off camera, I'm sorry. Now I'm just taking my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer and I'm just putting that over my face. Going in with my Maybelline foundation and deep bronze, I'm just putting that all over my face and then I'll be blending it out with my Real Technique sponge.
Now I'm taking my Kat Von D concealer in the color D35 Neutral and I'm using that to conceal and highlight my face. I'm highlighting underneath my eyes, down my nose, my forehead, my cupid bow, and my chin. And I'm going to be blending that out with my sponge as well. Now I'm taking my Ella Girl Pro Concealer in the color Mahogany and I'm using that to contour my face. And I'm just using this Sedona Lace Kabuki Contour Brush to blend that contour out because you want to make sure that everything is blended together seamlessly on your face. You don't want no demarcations. Now I'm taking my Juvia's Place Palette. Nubian 2 palette again and I'm taking the shade called Nairobi and I'm going to be popping that in my inner tear duct. It's just like a pretty yellow gold shade and I just it just went like it just went so well with the look so I decided to pop that in my inner tear duct. And now I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk and I'm going to be putting that in my waterline. Now I'm taking my Mayo Makeup Neon Pigment Stack and I'm taking this light royal blue shade. You guys are so freaking pretty. And I decided to go ahead and set that white base with this blue shade to give my eyes that even more sunset look. I just thought that this blue just went so well with the eye look that I was going for. So that's what I used. And now I'm taking that red shade that I used earlier and I'm putting I'm smudging that out on my lower lash line taking my L'Oreal telescopic mascara my benefit mascara and I'll just be applying these on my top lash and my lower lash well, my top of lashes and my lower lashes. And now for my blush, I'm going to be using my Sleek Blush in the shade Coral and I'm just going to be popping that or placing that on my apples and my cheeks. I'm now taking my next Dewy Setting Spray, I'm just going to spray my face with that. And I'm for the highlight I'm going to be using today, it's my, one of my favorite bomb highlighters from Artist Couture called Sugar Daddy. And I'm just going to be highlighting my face with that, my cheekbones, my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin. You guys know I like a nice glow. And this highlighter right here is just by far one of my favorite highlighters. I just love this highlighter so much. So I just, you know, I just wanted to use this highlighter on with this look. It just went so well with it. Yeah, sometimes I just be really low key feeling myself when I'm recording sometimes. So that's why I be seeing me look in the mirror a lot. And I'm just taking that same highlighter and I'm putting that down as my highlight. It's my brow bone highlight just to so my that my eyes can pop out even more. And for my lip combo, I'm using my Night Moth MAC lip liner. And for my lips, I'm taking this blue red shade called Cherry Blossom from Color Rain. And I'm just gonna be using that as for my lip stick today it just went so freaking well with this eye look 
it just I, this is probably one of my favorite looks that I've done so far but I hope you guys like this look as well